Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it, Aquarius. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Aquarius, it seems as if it's you or another person. They need more time. They need more time to get over this or get over what happened or what is going on between the two of you. Uh, there will, you guys will come back together in divine timing when there has been significant time passed or, or change that has happened. Okay. Um, somebody is still going through the grieving phase. Um, they just don't understand. Okay. They're in a place of not understanding. All right. So that could be you. It could be someone else. All right. So let's see what's going on for my Aquarius. Someone could also feel like um, they don't want to make the wrong decision here. They don't want to make the wrong decision. They don't want to go back down this karmic cycle. This could be you. could be the other person. Um, someone wants to understand the betrayal, the mind games. Um, it's bad blood between you and someone else. Something terrible happened there could have been the exchange of words maybe even a physical fight for some of you all right so let's see what's going on for my aquarius what's going on for the aquarius these cards don't want okay there we are the nine of swords yes somebody's in a place of um they're just not a there's a lot of heavy anxiety somebody's got to cope with the fact that this happened or it happened or Somebody is doing the shoulda, coulda, wouldas and wishing that they can turn back the hands of time and overthinking things and not sleeping and, you know, anxiety, fatigue, maybe even a, a, a bit of um, heartbreak, maybe heartache, staying up late, sleep patterns being off. Somebody could be a night shift worker. Somebody's got a lot on their plate and they don't feel like they need it to be coupled with love issues. Therefore, they, they're reframing from that. This could be someone that you are estranged from. You guys are not talking or there's very little communication. Somebody's still in a place of um, um, the swirling thoughts here where they have to deal with this. Yeah, the world. Uh, this person is, uh, this could be you, Aquarius. It could be the, uh, this could be you. Uh, this could be your person. This could be you, the world. You're in a place of wanting to go to the next level. Taking yourself to the next level, closing out cycles. We're in a new year, so you've closed out that cycle that, um, you know, for, from last year. Uh, you're in a place of achievement also. Um, you understand that something has come full circle. Um, you're finally opening up your mind, your heart space to understanding. It's like you understand clearly now. Um, you're ready to start over or start anew. What else is going on for my Aquarius? Yeah, Five of Cups. I knew somebody's still grieving. It says, look, somebody, somebody doesn't know how to forgive, how to come back to you. There's been a lot that has happened or vice versa. This is how you feel or it's mutual. So it's, it's easier to rest in the energy of just sulking or being upset or being hurt or being frustrated. And that's why this guy is not looking at those other two cups. He's not understanding that the relationship is recoverable. That's what the five of cups says. It says the relationship is recoverable, but you, you have to chart a, a new path or build a bridge to one another. And you both have to walk across it, you know, proverbially to, to make it work, you know, you have to put the energy into it. Um, somebody's still upset, you know, someone's still upset. Uh, let's see what else is going on here for my Aquarius. Uh, King of Pentacles. Some of you, you want to be more rational systematic and practical in your approach to something 
maybe to sharing your emotions. You're going to find balance here so that you can maintain harmony within yourself firstly and then within your relationships, outward relationships. You're, you're not going to be too overly emotional or just have no emotions. You're going to know how to be balanced there. You understand that someone is your soulmate or there's a an extreme uh you know likeness or love or connection here you're getting to a place where you can now kind of declutter your emotions you feel safe enough to do so or you feel like this is a good time you just need to release it all declutter when you're decluttering something you're like getting rid of stuff maybe throwing it out dealing with it looking over this oh i don't need that oh and that's what you're doing with your emotions getting back to just a simpler place in time maybe with your person or without last card for the aquarius this week What do we have for the Aquarius this week? Well, your cards are not a lot of talking, definitely, between you and someone else. Wow, as I say that, the Page of Swords flips out. So, of course, we all know it's not a lot of talking because somebody just doesn't want to go into arguments and being argumentative. It says, choose your battles wisely. Everything is not a fight. And some of you are learning that. You're learning to be more tactful um gracious in your approach um uh, it's okay to have conflict but it's about how you approach it conflict resolution uh the page of swords says you, you you need to be more uh inquiring or curious about um therefore the element of surprise doesn't exist because you deal with things head on um something about yeah maturity in your approach again you and someone are, could be taking some temporary break because you had to think about what the future holds and and this relationship is very fragile right now it's like make it or break it time um you, you just don't want to re-engage right now because it's very fragile and it could fall apart. And maybe that's why someone's keeping their distance because they're trying to practice their emotional balance also. Because somebody was devastated or is devastated or they were blindsided by an event, some action taken against them. Somebody could be playing the victim, being overly dramatic also, not seeing the part that they played in this situation. It could be a masculine energy who could be over dramatic. Um, feeling like he was the one that was betrayed or backstabbed. I heard even disrespected or disregarded. But in order for this to work, there's going to have to be a level of maybe compassion, forgiveness, compassion, love, and an understanding, a true understanding of the relationship and how strong the bond is. Someone's going to have to choose the soulmate journey and understand that it comes with trial. It is trying. This one is anyhow. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Let me leave you with one of the Oracle cards. What do we have to say for the Aquarius? I stare at your picture for hours. I'm obsessed. So that could be you. That could be another person. We've got next week coming up. Maybe someone will talk to you next week and hurt people, hurt people. Let it sink in. Okay. And the cards want you to know maybe you or another person have, you have not healed, heal. Okay. Um, and maybe that's why it's time for this temporary 
um, separation to happen because um, somebody has to go through that healing process because either you or the other person was hurting you and hurting other people because they were already hurt. If someone is obsessed with you and they want you back, you could hear from this person next week or something significant happens for you next week. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care. All links are below. If you want to get your own personal reading, you can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I think those are all the announcements. Thank you again. Take care, guys.